how do you know God did it? How do we know God did it? Yeah, how do you know God did it? Because messengers came down and told us Everything's about, about him. India. And they, pro they proved they that they were messages from God they because they're miracles they, they did. <laughs> Alright, how do you know that is what I'm saying? We're talking about evolution. Well, from history? From history. From so, the, where did you, so the information that God is from God, where did you get that information from? Prophet Muhammad. Okay, so Prophet Muhammad told you this. Where did Prophet Muhammad tell you this? He, didn't tell us, he, told, he told the people of his time 1400 years ago, and the information was recorded in like books and the Quran and the Hadith. Okay. And that information was passed down to generations. So, how do you in 2018 know that that is correct information? How do you know that? Because he performed miracles that no one but a messenger of God could perform. And no, I'm saying, yeah, uh, how, I'm saying, how do you know that? You're telling me your stuff that the, you. The Quran, the Quran couldn't be from anyone but God. The Quran, why? No, because it just doesn't seem like it was written by anyone but God. The things That's that, your subjective opinion. It doesn't seem, remember you said it doesn't seem. Like that. The things that are in the Quran, no man could have known those. Like, like what? Like what? Like what? Embryology. Embryology. Uh, the sea, uh, sea water and salt water uh, not mixing, uh, there's a barrier between them. That's basic information that people knew for thousands But how would the prophet know that? Okay, so oh, that's a good question. How would the prophet know that? It, is it more likely that your prophet was taught that, or are you telling me it's from God? He couldn't have me taught that because at that time, the mainstream um, thesis was that, like, basically, like embryology at that time, they made a lot of mistakes, and the books 1400 years ago, what they discussed about embryology was incorrect. So how could the prophet, from all the books that he stole the information of embryology from, how could he have corrected the mistakes of that time? Do you, do you, do you know that there are very, um, there are discrepancies in what your in what your prophet said about embryology? Such as? Do you know that? No. Have you not researched the, the um, scientific um, the scientific manuscripts or the scientific papers on how how how, how babies are formed? Juxtapose and how your prophet said it. Was. I mean, there were scientists um, who were the experts on embryology. He actually created some because of what he said about embryology. And he's a scientist. Yeah, because he's a scientist. And he's an scientist. And he's an expert on embryology. And he said in the Quran, he said there's no way a man could have known 40 years ago. You know what his name was? Scientist. So, so are you telling me now that the, your you said the discrepancies? Yeah, yeah. The, I, I could have told you. I'm not gonna. Lie, I can't tell them from my head. I was reading it. But what I'm trying to say to you is, is that for you to claim God, though, you to claim God, you would have to, yeah, you would have to prove God, though. Yeah. We have such a. Do you get what I'm saying? But like, if we believe God is outside the universe, how can we prove one that's outside the universe? Exactly. So what is that then? So if you can't prove something, what is it called? No, if you, no, you can't prove it. What's yeah. it called? Theory. No, no, it's, it's called a what? Belief. Belief. Thank you very much. But as much as I try to prove my belief, you're never going to accept it. Because you can't prove it. No, I, I, I'll accept wrong. something that you can prove. And if I, if I have, no, it'd be fair to say based on whatever's in the Quran. What's the big that, deal? For you know, me, you know, if you go home, yeah. you know, if you go home right now and you see uh, your door broken, your windows have been smashed, your belongings have been stolen, are you gonna be like, until I see a thief? I'm not going to believe the thief. No. Or, you, or you can see the evidence around and you could not the claim that there was a thief in yes. the house. So are you do the same with God? No. Because the universe, planets, orbit each other, gravity, rain coming down, fruit bearing from the trees. How can that be for anyone but a divine answer? Thieves are not extraordinary. Yeah. So that was my answer. So thieves, so why, thieves are actually ordinary. Why, why are they ordinary? Because we know of thieves, don't we? Yeah. We know of them. Yeah. But we don't know of a God, do we? But that's because there's only one God. I believe there's Okay, but we don't know of any God. Okay, Whether it be the one, the, the sixth, the sixth I, one, the eighth one. I, we don't know of one, do we? I will agree with you, actually. It is a belief. Right, because we don't know of one. Yeah, but we know of thieves, don't we? Yeah. So we can claim a thief. If, if, if I said my windows are broken and my stuff's gone and a unicorn did it, then you'd be like, hang on a minute. What are you talking about? But we know a thief, we don't know a unicorn. But you're claiming something like a god that nobody knows of. But even by the definition of the word knowing, you still couldn't disprove that it wasn't a unicorn? It's, yeah, but it's not... Now listen to that. I couldn't disprove it was a unicorn, right? Okay. So how can I disprove something that hasn't already been proven? How can you disprove something that hasn't already been proven? Yeah, because if you say, oh, so, was, if, you, if you say, Sarah, it was a unicorn. So you're saying the burden of proof is on the one making the claim? Correct. I suppose that's a fair... Uh, because if I say, I rolled on a unicorn yesterday, yeah. 
That's my claim. You're going to say to me, hang on, Sarah, prove to me that you rolled on a unicorn yesterday. What? And I say, hang on, you can't disprove that I rolled on a unicorn yesterday, can you? Yeah. But can you? Can you disprove it? By the laws of physics, we could. Oh. No, can you disprove it? Yes, but not by physical evidence, by logic. Right, but I, but I didn't even bring evidence to you. I just made a claim. Right. So then if you make a claim, it's silly to ask somebody to disprove a claim. It's very silly. Yeah. Because you need to prove the claim before you ask somebody to disprove it. Like I could say in my house I have ten million dollars. Right. Or, or ten million pounds. Disprove it. Yeah. And I can say, hang on a minute, there's no there's actually, there's actually no way of me disproving that, is there? What if I uh, why, why if I said that the Quran is the proof? The Quran, the, the book. No, the Quran the Quran is a claim. How do you how do you explain some of the scientific uh, I'll say miracles, but nice scientific thing. knowledge that's in the Quran that wasn't known 1400 years ago. Like, no, no, hang on. You, you see, we say it wasn't known 1400 years ago. Yeah, by man. No, what you're doing is that you are superimposing the logic of your, the people that you know of yeah. on the whole globe. You don't know what people knew 1400 years ago. I will tell you this: there were you can go to the Nile Valley Africans, and they were already doing autopsies. They were doing, they were drilling inside the brain, doing all kinds of stuff. They had already mapped out the star systems. Yeah. So we don't. We don't actually know right. what people sorry, were doing 1,400 sorry. years ago. We don't actually know. And, we, and what we do know is that the, 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 the library of Alexandria was burnt down with a wealth of knowledge in there. So we don't even know what was, what was, you know, what was, uh, what was lost in the, in, in the library of Alexandria. We don't know. Have you been watching ancient, uh, ancient astronauts? No, no, no. I'm just saying to claim that you know something without having all the evidence and to ask them to disprove something. Well, that, it's a bit silly. Well, in the 21st century, for us, it's the Quran. But at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, it wasn't just the Quran, it was the other miracles he, he formed that do people were do, do you really believe that he split the moon in half? And no one saw it. Oh, you know, this is going to sound crazy, but there's a video by NASA that said there's a large tear in the moon that occurred I, roughly no, 500 to 300 years ago. No, I'm asking you as a human being, do you yeah. think he split the moon in half? Yeah. Do you think he flew off into heaven on a white horse? Yeah. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> can I say something? I mean, do you understand? Do you understand? Fucking hold on, hold on, hell, bro. Hold on, hold on. Do you understand? Yeah, out of recorded history, yeah. there's no, been no account of the moon splitting. Second, if the moon no. did split, the she, earth would have catastrophic here. Tidal waves and every, it all just got absolutely ancient because of the, the gravity. Of but we believe, we believe. Why was there no effect on the earth when you cracked the moon in half? No, but if I'm making the claim that it's all powerful God, can I, can I make the claim that a prophet. But no one saw it. No, no, but can I make the claim that the prophet would have split the moon and none of that would have happened because God wouldn't allow it to happen? I am making the but claim. But no one saw it. Yeah, but your claims don't mean anything, though. It's been recorded. Your right? claims don't mean anything. That's why it's, just, that's why it's a belief. Exactly, so, yeah. okay, so if, oh, if you know it's a belief, we made a breakthrough. He's a belief. It's a belief. It's fine, it's a belief. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. But you're a rational guy. You do understand that you can't yeah. claim beliefs as facts, though, right? Yeah, but I, I still believe God exists. I know, that's good, that's, You said belief. We're going to call you unicorn, man. He's a nice guy, he's a nice guy. Well done. Yeah. See, that? see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. No, he said something very important. He said belief. A lot of Muslims say it's fact, and then you cannot argue with these people yeah, because yeah. they believe what they're saying is completely objective. Yeah, yeah. So I do like that guy. I, I gave him a lot of stickers. Did you see the smile in his face? Yeah, I gave him a lot of stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knows the belief. He knows. You can't argue with him, man. I always call my religion a belief as well. What about you, Christian? Right, do you believe in that? Big up, Sarah. Right, let me go and see what's going on around here. Make some proof.